Welcome back. Training module 11.1, DR, DRS Reaming. I'm your trainer, Edwin Tunney, Training and Technical Specialist for Horn USA Incorporated. In today's training, we'll talk about an overview of the DR, the DRS Reaming product, the value added features, success in the market, and how to apply. The first and smallest reaming size that we'll talk about is on the DRS system. So the DRS system is divided into four different blank sizes. You have the DR08, DR10, DR11, and DR13. The DR08 ranges from 299.2 all the way to 318.9. The DR10 from 318.9 to 378. The DR11, 378 to 437. And the DR13 from 437 to 515.7. Different shanks are available, uh, both in steel and carbide. You have different coolant configurations. Uh, so you have an S-type coolant, which is a blind hole, which is coming through the center of the tool. Uh, an L-type, which is a blind hole and lateral coolant. And then the type D, which is a through, a through hole coolant, which comes out of a, uh, from the side of the tool. The next size to talk about is the standard DR program. So the DR program ranges from a DR16 all the way to a DR141. So the first uh, sort of sec uh, section of DR tools, um, the DR16, DR19, DR24, DR29, and DR36, those are going to um, have a cylindrical shank. So cylindrical shank goes with the DR16 all the way up to the DR36. That ranges uh, from the DR16 468.5 all the way to 1.4016 on the DR36. A range of flutes, so from six flutes on the 16, 19, and 24, all the way to the eight fluters with the 29 and the 36. The cylindrical shanks are offered in a short three and four times D and also long uh, version, which is six to eight times D. The cylindrical shanks uh, like the other are offered in, like the DR of small are offered in various uh, coolant configurations. So the type AS is a blind hole central coolant. Uh, so that's more or less uh, if you have a blind hole and you're pushing the chips, uh, blasting the coolant to the bottom of the hole and pushing the chips back. You have the type a, AD and ADZ, which is uh, through coolant. Uh, the difference in the ADZ is you have a central clamping screw. Uh, so this minimizes the, the handling of the, the tool as uh, the standard tool will have cap screws uh, that uh, some, some customers prefer the larger screw for easier handling. You also have a type AR, which is a backwash coolant. Uh, so the purpose in the backwash coolant is to give you coolant when you have um, a secondary hole uh, that may uh, prevent you from washing the chips uh, back. And so you have that backwash coolant option as well. The next uh, size or uh, sector of DR is uh, the DR44 all the way up to the DR141. So you see the trend here, it's just blank sizes. Uh, so you'll have a blank size and then an, an accompanying uh, holder to go with that. Um, unlike uh, the smaller DR, the DR16 to the DR36, these are going to be fitted on an MDR module. So this is a, the MDR uh, gives you uh, adjustment of the reamer, uh, the run out uh, directly with this MDR and a VDR intermediate shank, which we'll, we'll see in a moment. So the DR44 is the smallest size, uh, eight flutes, the 52 with 10, 
uh, then you hit 12 flutes at the 81, all the way up uh, to the 141. The DR uh, 44 through 141 range in size from 1.4016 all the way up to 5.5748. So it covers a, a very wide range uh, of board holes, uh, ream, uh, reamed hole sizes, and then different MDR modules to fit the different systems. So the MDRs, uh, just like the DRS and the, and the smaller DR on the cylindrical shank, you have a different coolant uh, system. So the type VS has a blind hole with central coolant. You have a type VD, which is external coolant holes um, through coolant, and then a VA, which is the backwash system. One interesting uh, point, uh, the backwash, the VA uh, coolant, this uh, is just a bolt, it's a specialized bolt. It also fits in the, in the VD system. Uh, so if you need backwash coolant and external coolant at the same time, uh, you can make that, that happen. A little more in detail on the entire system and kind of overview how this works. Um, you have a basic holder or a back end. Uh, you have a system adapter in uh, HSKA 63, 100, SK40, SK50, BT40, and BT50 in different sizes. So HSK, uh, different beta modules. So uh, the beta module is the intermediate shank. Uh, that gives you your adjustment. So you have an MDR reaming insert holder. So that's the front end where the insert is going to be uh, fixed. You have a VDR, which is where you're going to adjust the runout of this reaming system. And then um, you'll have your base holder, which is a BH, BD, or BT, corresponding to HSK, uh, SK, and also. Um, BT. The VDR also comes in other shank types. Um, you have form A, which is cylindrical, form B, which is welded, form E, which is whistle notch. And of course, as we're talking about the beta module, the beta module is ABS. Uh, so it's a standard uh, ABS connection. So it is compatible with any other uh, ABS holder. In the, in the given size, uh, ABS size. The last system to overview or talk about is uh, the DR large. So this is the newest system. Um, same concept from a, from a size point of view. Uh, you have 150 uh, millimeter all the way up to 200 millimeter. Uh, all of these have 12 flutes. The difference here is you have a you have an MDR uh, just like you would uh, with the smaller systems, and you have a VDR so you can adjust that uh, runout. Uh, but you have a ring rather than a solid carbide uh, system. So MDR you have three sizes. So this intermediate piece here, uh, the base holder for the uh, ring. You have a 150 to 160, 170 to 180, and 190 to 200. You have six ring sizes. So those are in 10 millimeter steps. So that's what's represented here. 150, a 160 ring, a 170, a 180, a 190, and a 200. Um, interesting point about these is once you adjust your holder, your MDR, and your VDR setup, then you just replace these, uh, replace these rings. Uh, these can actually be maintained uh, by Irma uh, through Horn. So you send this ring back with the inserts and it can be refurbished uh, by Irma. Either putting the same specification inserts uh, back in, or you can also mix and match uh, diameters within this ring range and also different geometry configurations. So if you have a family of parts, um, you can change these rings out 
uh, different geometries on the insert. So now that we've talked about an overview of all the systems, let's talk about some of the value added features. So for the DR small, um, a very accurate system, uh, diameter repeatability within two tenths or five microns. You can get steel or carbide shanks. The reamers uh, can have a straight left helix or right helix design. Very narrow cut width. Uh, so only giving you the carbide that you need to make uh, very accurate uh, holes, uh, but not have too much carbide in the way where you have drag out marks uh, on your ream surface. We offer compensating and floating holders. So you can sort of uh, steer this. If you have a lathe application, you can use a, a floating holder or you can actually adjust uh, the DRS uh, to get the best out of your reamer. You also have several different internal coolant options. The DR itself, uh, some of the unique features of that are again, very high accuracy and repeatability. Uh, diameter mounting repeatability of four micron. It's an HSK-like taper, so you have dual contact. So the, the insert contacts the face here and also slightly deforms this uh, taper. Uh, so you get very high torque transmission. You have adjustable runout. You have an indication area on, on each body um, to provide more accuracy uh, at the spindle. So each uh, user will indicate in the same area. It's ABS compatible. So any ABS holders you already have, uh, if it's the right ABS size, it will fit, uh, will fit that. Internal coolant options, as we saw, uh, different options you can have with this uh, tool with the DR. So next, uh, let's talk about the DR value added features. Uh, again, very accurate uh, diameter repeatability, uh, three micron or uh, one tenth. The measurement indicators you can see on the insert, uh, these are variable pitch. So you can measure this across uh, these two flutes and get an accurate measurement uh, of the diameter. You can get straight left helix and right helix designs depending on which way uh, you need to push the chip or uh, depending on the workpiece. Narrow cut widths, so you're only getting enough carbide uh, to get the job done, uh, but also it reduces the surface finish defects from retracting the reamer out of the hole. Multiple grades, coatings, and materials. The DR large, um, the DR large is value added features really modular length. Uh, so you don't need to uh, invest in a fixed tool. You can get different modules and, and lengths to uh, reach the deeper bores. Really the only limitation is the machine. How long of a tool uh, can the machine handle? It's ABS compatible, just like the DR. Internal coolant. Same uh, face taper contact uh, like you see with the, the smaller DR series, really high torque transmission, diameter mounting repeatability, uh, again, very accurate, four micron, and then reconditioning. So uh, take some of the hassle off of the uh, shop floor. You can recondition these, send these back to Horn. We'll give them back to Irma and they will set new inserts. Uh, and get this thing ready to go. So all you have to do is load the ring. And uh, if this is all indicated in and hasn't changed, then you should get the same result. You can also recondition uh, with different, um, different geometries uh, on the same ring. So these can be replaced with different geometries depending on what you, uh, what's needed for the application. So here's a, a market success with DR. Uh, this is in gray iron, uh, water soluble coolant. The problem was the existing process was slow and the tool life was poor. 
Uh, the old solution uh, left a reaming sludge, uh, which had to be removed by an extra cleaning operation. So the competitor product was a brazed carbide reamer, uh, still uh, very widely used. 79 SFM or 600 RPM and a feed rate of 4.3 inches per minute. We used our uh, DR reamer in a carbide grade, 312 SFM, 2400 RPM, and 142 inches a minute. So you can see a drastic difference in uh, cutting conditions. So the competitor uh, A, uh, the braised reamer was $150. The cycle time was 37 seconds. Uh, the horn tool was 374. We did the process in three seconds. The other big difference is parts per edge on the, the braised reamer was 250 parts. The horn was 750. And then the additional um, cleaning operation to clean the, the sludge uh, was removed with the horn solution. So that ended up as a cost savings of $1.23 per part uh, based on cycle time. So much more efficient process. Um, and you could argue of a cycle time of 37 seconds versus three seconds, you can uh, actually, if you needed to, you could reduce parameters significantly and get even more parts per edge um, and balance, uh, balance the time get more parts out or get more parts uh, done. The DR system is relatively easy uh, to assemble and use. Uh, so just step by step, the step one is uh, with the insert removed. So I think it's important uh, anytime you have a precision tool that's made out of carbide, uh, be careful. Uh, don't put it in, in harm's way unnecessarily. And when you have a big torque wrench in with a bit, uh, you know, sometimes those edges can be damaged uh, just uh, accidentally. So remove the insert um, and tighten the central screw. So you have a bolt that runs from the MDR all the way uh, into the uh, VDR system here. Uh, you're going to tighten that central screw to just snug or uh, to an initial torque. So the DR44 through the 61, those don't have an initial torque value that you need to torque to. Uh, so you just snug it up. And then the DR81 uh, to the 141, they have an initial torque value of 60 Newton meters uh, to 70 Newton meters respectively to uh, tighten when you're setting up the tool. Step two is you're going to use the measurement indicator a lot area and you're going to adjust all four of these screws uh, to get your run out uh, to be less than five micron. So uh, a key to great performance from the DR is getting everything lined up uh, and making sure it's within that five micron. The, if the outside is damaged for some reason, uh, the outside of the holder, you can use the actual uh, cone also as a, a way to indicate the tool. So um, you still haven't installed the insert yet, uh, but you're going to uh, tighten to that final value. So the B value here uh, for the 44 to 52, that's 35 Newton meters. The 61 is 55, the 81 is 85, and the 101 to 141 are all 120 Newton meters. So you're gonna tighten it to that final torque value and then double check uh, to make sure the run out is, is spot on, it's within that five micron. Uh, then you can reinstall your insert. DRS, so the DR small is also very easy to use, uh, but a few things to point out. Uh, you're using a pretty tiny screw. Uh, I think some of these are uh, M2.5 or, or around that size range. 
Uh, so an 08 system, the torque that you need to use is 0.6 Newton meters. Um, so don't over torque these screws. In many cases, these have a coolant through them. Uh, so they're a little more sensitive to the over torquing. So be, uh, be careful of that. So you can see the, the most you're gonna tighten these uh, is two Newton meters. So very uh, low torque required to lock this insert in. In the case that you have a DR small, uh, these are also a variable uh, pitch. So measuring it on the outside uh, with an indicator is not gonna yield a very good result as far as concentricity. So you do have indicating ring, rings or inserts available uh, for these for purchase, uh, so you can set up the tool and, and then replace and put your cutting insert after the fact. All right, this concludes uh, Horn Online Training. Thanks for joining us. Uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, so you get alerts when we post a new video. Thanks and have a great day.